Alright, so this is going to be my first TikTok video. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to this new format. But anyways, first thing I want to get over is it's not that difficult to get into leatherworking and you shouldn't be afraid of it. Um, to, to start, like, you know, you can get a set of proper punch tools, right? And these are good for punching holes into leather and I have a couple more that are strong about this room. Um, and that's great, but like, you can actually do this with a screwdriver. And I know that because I did it with a screwdriver like a hundred times, right? And it's still surprisingly sharp. Like, you need a screwdriver that's sharp out of a good steel and is similar diameter to whatever rivets you're using and you can use that to punch the holes for rivets. Um, the advantage of using a punch is that it pushes the leather apart versus a drill which removes material as it makes the hole, uh, but a drill is faster. So, uh, depending on what you're doing, it might be better to use the drill, it might be better to use punches. Um, the rivets, you can order from Tandy Leather in like 200s, 100s, something like that. Large quantities, and one package will be like 5 bucks or something. I mean, it, the price goes up and down depending on like, is it steel, or this is antique brass. Um, I have a couple other ones that are like a super polished chrome steel, these ones. It's very shiny. Uh, but I felt that the antique brass would do better with the black plates. And this is actually like a red-toned brown. It's hard to see in the, the lighting, but if I was outside in the sunlight, it would be uh, a bit better than this camera can pick up if you just looked, looked at it in person. Um, the base that I have, this, uh, this is from a desk that someone was just giving away, right? And it, it's got holes from when it used to be screwed together. And if you're punching uh, holes into leather, what you're going to, going to do or want to do is line up the punch or screwdriver if you don't have a punch set, and that's where you're punching through, right? And so, like, if I have this here, and I lined up the corner or whatever, and this didn't have a hole already, like that's that's where I would line it up so the screwdriver has somewhere to go. Uh, but this this protects your floor and these rivets. The way they work together is you have a base and it's got a little peg on it and you have a little cap and you stick the cap on and then you just tap it lightly with a hammer. And like, the point of me showing you all this is like you don't need specialized leather working tools to get started on a project. Like, you have a screwdriver, you have a hammer, then really all you need is the leather. And Tandy Leather's got some pretty good deals. So I recommend y'all just try it out. You know, leather working's really fun.